All right, y'all, I'm gonna jump right into the video. I already did the ball cap method, bleached the knots, cleaned her skin and everything already off camera. And what I'm gonna be doing right now in this clip is just putting the makeup and applying some Gots To Be Holding Spray because sometimes when you use the makeup, it can get a little oily. If the, if the makeup is oil-based, definitely, you wanna just spray some holding spray on the lace because what's gonna happen is gonna let your lace stick better because you're applying makeup. Now I'm just putting the wig on her head to make sure that, you know, the knots look good, that the lace matches her skin complexion. And the adhesive that I used is the Hold Me Down by myself, Erica J. And I absolutely love this adhesive because once you apply one layer and you move to the next side and you come back to the other side, it's like completely ready for you to apply the next layer or, you know, for you to go ahead and apply your lace and it sticks really, 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 really good. But I'm not gonna keep bragging on myself. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and watch a few other people's reviews who have purchased this item and did reviews on their channel. You just have to type in Erica J, hold me down, and it will pop up. Now I'm just cutting from around her ears because that's one of the trickiest parts of installing a lace. And I just like to do that that space first because I feel like in my head if I don't cut this off before moving to cutting the rest of the lace off it's just not going to stick good in that area so I just like to do that first as soon as I apply the wig or the frontal and I really love this lace in particular from Julia's hair company because I kind of have issues sometimes when I work with different companies and I do you know laces on darker complexion women darker complexion clients in general and this lace actually looks really really good even though the very front is not even all the way down yet and this is not an hd lace and it just melts really 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 good i want you guys to not just get caught up in the hype and only want to purchase hd laces yes they are wonderful but just look at this this is a regular swiss lace and it looks amazing up against her skin I also know that you guys may have a little issues when it comes down to the knots bleaching through onto the roots of the hair and it's such an easy fix. I have shown it before on my channel multiple times so I didn't add it into this particular video but I love neat clean parts and it's really easy to do that as well which is also on other videos on my channel so if you're new here make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you go tune into all my other videos so my videos that are new can make sense to you like i said in the previous few clips before this one Doing a lace on darker skin complexions can be very tricky and depending on the lace you use and the company you shop with, it doesn't come out as good as it should. But this is coming along very, very nice and very, very wonderfully. And I sprayed water before I'm using the Fluff Stuff Styling Foam to create the baby hair because I think that when you add water, it's just... It's just an easier transition to create the baby hair versus just using the Fluff Stuff Styling Foam only. And it's a very dense product, so I like to dilute it a little bit because if you don't and you just use the styling foam on its own and you use too much of it, it'll get a little flaky. So adding water to you know, your baby hair prior to laying them down will result in a better outcome. It's also completely up to you and completely up to your client if you want to comb the baby hair out for a softer and more natural look. It's just a preference. Some of some people like them and you know how they are and some people like them when they're combed out and they look a little bit softer, but it's just up to you. But this hair straightens really really nicely and I'm just going to let you guys stay tuned until the end and just see how the finished results come out. I also like to blow dry my hair or my client's hair before I complete the styling process because I feel like it adds more body and more volume and your hair moves better when you blow dry it. 
that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you next time.